Hi everybody, this is the Green Frog here, and welcome back to another video. Today, instead of doing a Minecraft video, I am going to be doing a Scratch video. Today, I'm going to be using the Scratch 2 Offline Editor, even though you could use the Online Editor if you wanted to. Today, I'm going to be going over the very basics of Scratch, and what a sprite is and how to edit them and the same thing with the stage and the blocks and stuff like that but not going into too much detail so first off scratch is a very good programming language you it's very easy to learn and you can do a lot of things with it like make games and and other stuff so you can go on to www.scratch.mit.edu to edit online or download so first off you're gonna see sprite one which is this cat that's the scratch logo scratch cat so what you can do is editing sprites sprites are like objects that can move around and do things so if we want to delete this and we can make a new one by hitting this button now i would suggest going to vector and that's what i'm gonna do a tutorial on so what you can do is you can make your sprite so this you can draw dots or lines or stuff this you can actually do lines and if you hold shift it'll go straight up or straight across this will do rectangles if you hold shift it'll do a square this will do ovals or ellipses if you hold shift it'll do a circle this will do text this will move things around that I guess can reshape stuff I'm not quite sure that will color a shape, so like if you have a square, and then you can choose a color down here, and you can fill it in with a color by using this and picking your color and clicking in the inside of the square. This will duplicate something. If you want to duplicate like a hundred times, you hold shift, and you won't have to keep reselecting it. This undoes, this redoes. Here you can change the name of the costume, because you can have multiple costumes for a sprite and you can switch between them at any point. So this is the name of the costume, undo, redo, clear. This adds, I think it adds like a sprite from the library, I'm not quite sure. This does something with importing. This changes the center of the costume. This flips it upside down, flips it left, right. That is not letting me do anything, so I'm not sure. And then for new costumes or for new sprites, you can pick it from library. You can paint one, which is what we're in right now. You can upload it from a file, or you can take a picture if you have a webcam. So, that's what a sprite is. You can program sprites to do whatever you want. The stage, there's only one stage, and it can't like move around, but it can have as many backdrops as you want, and you can edit them. Again, I would suggest going into vector. It's a lot better. And you can also choose the thickness of line down here for anything on the sprite or stage. And you can pick your colors here. Zoom in, make it 100%. No, zoom out, make it 100%, zoom in. And this switches between vector and bitmap, but I think vector is better. So, now what we need to do is we need to talk about what blocks are. So if we just do something quick for the sprite, Maybe it's a little stick person. Just doing this really quick. Like that. There's our sprite. You can do, and I'm just going, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill this in with a color so it's a little easier to drag around. So what, what we can do with this guy so we can use any of these blocks to program him. I'm going to make more videos about the, the specifics of different sections of blocks. Right now I'm going to talk about what blocks are and what they do and what the different types are. So a block is a little piece of programming. And it can be something simple or it can be a little more complicated. But to make something really good you need a, bunch, you need a ton of blocks. So there's all these different categories of blocks. There's different types of blocks. There's these stack blocks, which you can put blocks above and below. 
there's these reporter blocks which like tell you things and you can put them like point in direction exposition you can put it in inputs then there's um, there's only two types in this category Let's see still only two Wow um okay so here we have hat blocks you can only put blocks below them you can't put blocks above them here we have C blocks so things go inside them and you can also put things above them and below them there's also cap blocks which this and this are the only ones you you can put stuff above them but not below them there's boolean blocks which are true or false and you can also put them in things so like if touching that color then we have I think that's all the types of blocks yeah that's all the types of blocks um so I'm going to be making some videos on the specifics of all the blocks in a, in a specific category but this will be about it for today so don't forget to stay tuned for the rest of the videos in the series and I've made a bunch of games in scratch and maybe I will show you them and show you how they work after I've told you about all the blocks because they're all pretty complicated I've been doing scratch for a while so I hope you enjoyed this was the green frog Please leave a like on the video, that would be great. That would help out the video. It would be great if you could subscribe. I don't have many subscribers, so it would really help. And I hope you enjoyed. This was the Green Frog. Please leave a like on the video. And goodbye!